Okay, James here. We're back. We're now going to add a glow effect and we're going to head over to render mode to do this. Now to do this we need to be aware that when we use the directional blur that 0 degrees blurs the image to the west, 90 degrees to the south, 180 to the east and 270 to the north. So it's like a 360 degree. You can actually put multiple revolutions in or you can press to put a negative number in. It doesn't make a difference so long as the direction is pointing right. So you could like, instead of going 90 degrees, you could do like minus 270 and it'll give you the same result. But to do this, we're actually going to duplicate a blade because I like we, we don't want to lose this nice little glow around the outside. We have of the dark green, which gives it the lightsaber look. So we're going to go over here and we'll duplicate this layer and we'll, light, we'll new name it lightning and we'll go over to network view and I think we're going to want to put this trail probably behind the light beam but we're not actually we don't even want to see this image we only want to see the actual glow output so I'm just going to stick it in like that. With standard animate, you just make this layer below the actual light beam layer and you'll be fine. So now we need to go over here to our light beam trail and we're going to change it to directional. I'm going to start it up with a nice sort of big radius just so we can see the effect and we'll pick a color which will be basically the green and as you can see it's working okay now what I'm going to do is open this up and we'll expand it and we're going to go through and we're going to animate so at our start point we're going to start with no radius and sort of as this moves through a few by now we sort of want to sort of pull out a small radius like if you look up and let's draw up you can see this whole area here is a slow movement of the blade so we're going to want to you know not bring this radius up too high we're probably going to want to go to maybe 20 Maybe that's even a little bit too much. Let's go 10. And at this point, we're just going to clamp it down. And we might want to change this direction as well. And we'll go sort of for 45. That looks like a good angle. So that should be 45 too. And now we're going to go over a big sort of sweep. I'm actually going to turn this on just the standard mode for a second. So we can just sort of see. Now we'll go out to render mode. You'll see here is after we've gone through the full sweep. So we probably want to, just a couple of frames in, be up to what our maximum radius will be. And I'd say we'll be looking at something like 100. Obviously our angle's wrong here, so we need to fix that up. That looks a little bit extreme. I'd say that looks good. We've got a nice long trail. And we sort of build up to it. And that long trail stays to the point that we reach down. So I'm going to hit a keyframe on our radius. But we're, we're going to edit our angle here because we want our angle to move around a little bit. So we're sort of going to look at maybe 
Um, fifty five, and that looks to be sort of the perfect angle down. And then we're just gonna want to cool this off. Actually, I've done this a little bit. You want to pull all of these across to where it finishes, and then we're gonna take a couple of frames just to fade this off to zero and we're going to start again here afresh so I'll hit F6 to keyframe everything to keyframe everything you just sort of go up to the top of the glow effect and press F6 and start a glow in again a couple of frames in and we'll go back for a nice sort of hundred Obviously our angle's now wrong, but we're going to have to try to pick one that's right. Probably a little bit more. Say a little bit higher than that. That looks good. And I'm going to change the angle here again. Which I'm going to keyframe everything across. And I'm going to go then change the angle suit and it'll be more like we'll have to go a little bit higher than that I'd say and I'm going to pull these all back one frame I didn't intend to go this close I'd like to go by this frame here we want to get rid of our glow because our sort of stops and we're going to glow back the other way so, I'm just going to go for a zero here. And zero for angle. Then again, a couple of frames in. We're going to go back to 100. We need to set our angle right. Which will be more like... 35. I'm just going to set this one here sort of 65. And then we'll just cap everything off. And then we just want a little bit of a fade out. So we can just go here and sort of set it to zero. And now we should just have a blade which over time will leave a trail. And now you can render this out and you'll see the same effect that was at the beginning. The only thing I would like to do is you can see this is very sharp down the edge. So I'm just going to add a little bit of a blur to this. So I'm just going to go up here grab a blur we're going to break this, stick it into the blur we're just going to sort of add uh, maybe 10 set to our camera and now you can see it's like faded around the edges rather than that sort of hard edge and then that's your basic you know using your directional blur and then using your directional blur glow and some blur to sort of take these edges off. In the next part we'll have a look at the actual leaving a trail that's sort of a big large trail. So.